in the previous video we have animated this square like this now we need to do some animations for this things and this thing also so for that what we will do we will hide this in initial box and this thing and this thing also we need to select all of them and we will go to the windows animation composer and anchor point name mover so we need to adjust the anchor point at the bottom so i'll simply click on it so as you can see all the anchor points are on the back bottom now i'll delete this now after that what i'll do i'll select this a first press s for scaling option i'll unlink this option first so let's make it zero over here only and let's say create one keyframe over here now after that go to the 10 frames or let's say 15 frames make it 100 and after that go to the 25 frames let's make it 60 and a few frames later let's make it 72 again if i hit play as we can see we are getting this bouncy animation select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor now we will adjust this graph editor select this handle over here by holding shift i will drag this over here after that select this one drag this over here we are getting two handles because we have unlinked this one so that's why we need to do it two times now select this one by holding alt i'll drag this over here so it will animate a little bit faster yep now after that we need to animate the position also so press p for position create we will animate position animation for all of them press p and create one keyframe on the position after that select all of them hit u so we can see the position property of this remaining layers and scaling properties of this a hit k to jump on the forward keyframe select all of them move it a little bit select all of them we need to copy the first frame of each and every one hit ctrl v sorry select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v and ctrl c ctrl v now hit p select all of them and hit p select this things press f9 go to the graph editor select this handle drag it over here and drag this over here now after that select this one press s select those keyframe hit ctrl c select all of them hit ctrl v hit now if i hit select them and press u now if i hit play we are getting this kind of stuff now we need to animate this alphabet according to the box animation so i will move this to fit when it drops on a the a should be pop out so i will move this thing over here by open square bracket at this point our d should be get animated after that our this d after this our a after that our s and after that where is our i i'll move this i over here hit select this i hit u go to the scaling option instead of 99 i'll choose unlink this one let's say 80 only now if i hit play we are getting something like this 
and we will select this one press p power position create one keyframe over here one keyframe over here move this over here and drag this drag this over here again create one keyframe at this position move this thing over here select this keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor adjust this one like this and this thing should be like this yep and i'll move this let's say at the end over here and i'll move these things over here i'll create one shape layer to create a mask for this one press ctrl alt home drag this thing over here select this one and choose alpha mat and i'll select this one press p for position property create one keyframe and again create one keyframe over here go over here and drag it down select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor and adjust this graph editor just like this now press f4 select all of them and we'll enable this option so to it will add one motion blow over here now after that we will select all of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as logo animation and i'll hit ok now press ctrl y on keyboard to create a bg and hit ok and i'll drag this bg over here and i'll lock this and hit n Now after that if you want to change the color just simply create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it and you can simply swap these colors so you will get this animation in white color only. I will select this one press S unlink this option let's make it minus one press P drag this over here press s i'll let's say move this thing over here i'll create another layer i'll call it as not layer but composition i'll call it as fractal and hit ok press ctrl y apply fractal noise effect on it increase a contrast decrease the brightness not in but decrease but increase Go to the transform property, unlink this uniform, increase the width, decrease the height, just like this. Alt click on this evolution tab, type time into 40, let's say, or let's say 140. Go to the main animation, hit control 0, drag this over and hide this go to the effect and presets panel and apply compound blur effect on it not this on this fractal but this inverted logo animation and over here i'll choose this fractal now if i hit play from the start as we can see we are getting this cool looking animation of our logo after that what i'll do i'll create one adjustment layer and i'll apply glow effect on it i'll drag this adjustment layer on the top let's me increase the glow threshold up to 90 glow radius up to 30 or increase it let's make it glow threshold up to 100 and glow intensity i'll choose 0.3 only 
now if i hit play we are getting this cool animation of our logo so yep this is our final animation So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.